Claiborne terrorizes Cowboys. The Falcons had their way with the Cowboys on Sunday in Atlanta, thanks in large part to a huge game from defensive end Adrian Claiborne. The 29-year-old racked up a franchise record 6-6 six, six, sacks against Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. It didn't look like a whole lot of fun for Dak. 49ers run away with first win. It took 10 weeks, but the San Francisco 49ers are now in the win column. The Niners beat up on the Giants, with this big run from Matt Breida the nail in the coffin for New York, it's been a tough season for the Giants, who moved to 1-8 on the year, and there could be some significant changes made soon. Rumors swirled this past week that coach Ben McAdoo was losing his locker room, and Sunday's uninspiring performance certainly won't make his seat any less hot. Sterling Snag Things aren't going great for the Giants so far, but at least Sterling Shepard made the sweet one-handed grab, Deep Woods. Jared Goff and Robert Woods connected for the longest strike of the day with this 94-yard touchdown in the third quarter of Sunday's game against the Texans. Woods has some serious separation speed, and he put it on full display as he roasted the defense with the help of some play action. That's a big all-strike. Bombs away for B3. C.J. Beathard might just be killing time until Jimmy Garoppolo takes his job, but the current 49er starter isn't just handing it over without a fight. Beathard threw this gorgeous bomb to Marquise Goodwin in the first half of Sunday's game against the Giants, resulting in a big 83-yard touchdown connection to give San Fran the lead. The 49ers, who are still winless on the year, carried a 17-13 lead into the half. Wild finish to Chargers-Jaguars. The Chargers-Jaguars contest in Jacksonville was an absolutely wild one down the stretch, with both teams finding various ways to shoot themselves in the foot and hand opportunities back to the opponent. It looked like the game might have been coming to an end when Blake Bortles threw an interception with his team down by three with under two minutes left to play. But the Chargers immediately fumbled their football and gave possession back to the Jags, who actually played themselves out of field goal position thanks to a stupid taunting penalty from Mark Lee. The pass interference flag Lee was celebrating ended up getting reversed, while his 15-yard unsportsmanlike stuck. Whips. But the Jags' timeouts allowed them to get yet another possession, and they ultimately forced overtime with a field goal. It took a few tries in OT, but Jacksonville finally came away with the win, when an interception gave them great field position and Josh Lambeau beat his former team with a field goal. The Chargers managed to get a hand on the attempt, but it still sailed through the uprights. Tate it plunges dagger into Browns. Golden Tate came up with a huge 40-yard touchdown to double the Lions' lead late in their contest against the Browns, and he followed it up with a four-directional salute to honor the troops on Veterans Day weekend. Keenum slinging it for the Vikings. Vikings fans may have been super excited to see Teddy Bridgewater in uniform on Sunday, but it was Case Keenum who delivered a strong performance under center for Minnesota. Keenum put four passing touchdowns and a perfect passer rating next to his name on the box score before even reaching the game's final quarter. His favorite target has been Adam Thielen, who has accounted for over 150 yards and one touchdown. Browns shooting themselves in the foot against Lions. The Cleveland Browns are still looking for their first win and are hanging with the Lions in the first half of their contest in Detroit. In fact, the Browns jumped out to an early 10-0 lead, but they didn't exactly doing themselves any favors as the first half played out. Towards the end of the second quarter, Cleveland tight end Seth Devov coughed up the football to Nevin Lawson, and the Lions cornerback recovered the fumble, got to his feet before being touched, then took it all the way to the end zone for the 17-10 lead. Then, the Browns' offense drove down the field in the final moments of the first half, only to head into the locker room without any points to show for it. Why? Because some absolutely terrible play calling inside the five-yard line ended very poorly for them. Oh, Browns. Dot dot how do you continue to outdo yourselves week in and week out? Jacksonville gets tricky.
the Jaguars struck first in their contest against the Chargers on Sunday and they did so via a fake punt that resulted in a 56-yard touchdown. Corey Grant had the honors of taking it to the house as he weaved his way through the unsuspecting Chargers defenders. Getting to watch a team successfully pull of a surprise trick play is one of football's greatest pleasures, so thank you, Jags. Teddy sheds some tears. The Vikings welcomed Teddy Bridgewater back to the active roster for the first time since the quarterback suffered a brutal knee injury over a year ago, and it was an emotional affair for the 25-year-old. Bridgewater didn't get the start, but it's clear just being in uniform meant a lot to him, as he shed some tears of joy on the sideline as the game began.